All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Blast Awesomeness Modifier mod, which is also known as BAM and was originally made back in the day by forum user Marcy and is now one of the many mods which has been resurrected by good old Linux Guru Gamer. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is two very cool features, which of things I've really been wanting in this game for some time. Now the first feature is that it will actually modify explosions in the game based off of how much fuel you have on board. So the less fuel you have, the smaller the explosion will be. And of course, alternatively, the more fuel, the bigger the boom. And that is a very cool feature as it, it just makes sense when you first set off a rocket if it explodes on the launch pad you expect it to be big, but if you're almost out of fuel and landing on the runway, you'd expect that to be a much smaller explosion, and now we have that feature. Now, as for the second feature, oh boy, this is something I have wanted since I first started playing the game, and that is that any part that doesn't have explosive materials built into it, like, I don't know, say, a rover wheel or a solar panel, those no longer explode. Now, when they break, they'll still kind of poof into a cloud of nothingness, but they don't blow up, which is something that has always confused me. You'll be driving with a rover, break a wheel, and suddenly it's Armageddon with flashes of light everywhere and explosions, and it makes no sense. But now, thanks to this mod, it just breaks no explosions, and that I truly, truly do like. So let's go to the launch pad to show off what all this does do, and we've got a couple of little ships to show off, each one with different materials and different fuels, etc. Now the first one, I just wanted to show the very basics of the blast modifier bit, where we have three fuel tanks here, this one being completely empty, and so when it drops, it shouldn't explode because there's no fuel fuel to explode. The second tank is about a third full, roughly, of fuel, and it should, theoretically with this mod, have a small explosion. And then the final tank is full of fuel and should, hopefully, just give a normal sized big explosion. So let's turn off the UI, kind of angle ourselves down, and zoom in a bit, where hopefully, if this one drops correctly, there we go. It just kind of poofs into that uh, puff of smoke and it's gone. Now the next one with about a third of its fuel, when it drops, there we go. We get a tiny little explosion because of course there's not a whole lot of fuel on that thing. And then if we drop the final one, there we go. We get the typical explosion, which everything in the game makes or used to make. Oh boy, again, including wheels in the normal game, which just confuses me. But there we go, that is the basics of how this works. Now I want to show off another one of these with fuel on board, uh, just to give you an idea of the size of the explosions with a larger fuel tank, because of course that was a very small fuel tank. So let's go to my Blast Awesomeness Modifier 2, where of course we have the much, much larger larger fuel tanks of that same variety. There we go, as you can see. And it's the same deal here as well. The bottom tank has no fuel. This tank is one third full of fuel, and this one is all the way. Now, I actually probably should mention why I have this one only at one third, and that's because I've noticed that at around the halfway mark for fuel, the explosion isn't very different from a full tank. It is a tiny bit different, but not by much. But at a third or lower, you can definitely tell a major size difference, whereas anything above a half, it's not really noticeable. It does seem to be there, but not very noticeable at all. So let's drop the first one, of course, with zero fuel. And even though it's a very large tank, we still just get that puff of smoke, and it's gone. The second one with a third full, 
does make a pretty large explosion, much bigger of course than the one-third full tank that we had in the last one, engulfing about this much of the launch pad. But of course the final one, oh it's gonna be a big boom. There we go, lovely, the standard big boom, and that is a wonderful thing. Now again, if we exit out, I do want to take a look at other fuels, because of course liquid fuel is really the only flammable material we have in this game. Things like monopropellant and xenon gas on the other hand, well they're not meant to be explosive combustible fuels, they're either with the monopropellant just accelerated out or the xenon gas used in an electrical engine to, you know, basically also shoot it out but, you know, with electricity, and if we send these ones flying towards the ground, even though technically it's fuel, it's not an explosive fuel. So all of these bits of monopropellant just go into the same poof of smoke that any other non-flammable part would do. And I quite like that. It does make, of course, the difference between flammable and non-flammable fuels, which basically means that only any tank with liquid fuel is what is actually going to explode from here on out with this mod installed. Anything without liquid fuel is is gonna be just fine. Now let's take a look at the last craft just to basically drive that point home. Now rather than fueled parts, we have just an assortment of different pieces of a typical ship. We've got a science experiment down here with a goo container. We've got a uh, standard SAS. We've got an engine, which of course doesn't have any fuel running through it. A container full of ore. And finally, xenon gas as well. And if we just uh, again sort of zoom out there we go, if I can actually move the camera without resetting it. Beautiful, there we go. Drop the science goo, and it too just kind of goes into that magical poof of smoke, and then it's gone. Same with the SAS. Same with the engine, and of course the uh, separators we've been using this entire time. And of course the ore container. And lastly, the xenon gas. All of these things, including a uh, lovely capsule like this if we drop it. Well, there we go. It has no liquid fuel on board. It just has monopropellant, so it's going to go into the same poof of smoke with everything else. And that is the Blast Awesomeness modifier. I truly do love this thing. It makes your explosions change size depending on fuel, and if it doesn't actually have an explosive fuel on board, it just falls apart. I love that so much as it just makes sense in the world, and I'm very pleased to have it a part of my game now. So if you would like to check this mod out for yourself and I definitely would suggest that you give it a try you can take a look at the link in the description as always my friends but that is going to be it for today I hope you all have enjoyed and of course you do come back for the next episode when we'll be looking at what hopefully will be another fun mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one